Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how I made the altered jar that I used to store my paintbrushes. So first of all, I took this empty jar. This is actually a um, curry sauce jar that I've cleaned out and I've soaked in boiling water to get the label off. Once the jar is completely dry, you want to coat it in a good layer of PVA glue. This helps everything to stick to the jar um, and is the base layer for what we're going to do today. So you need a good layer and make sure you've covered every little square centimetre of the jar. Obviously I haven't done the back because of the position I'm filming, um, but I do do the same on the back as well. And then what you want to do is take some kitchen roll, it doesn't matter if it's patterned or what, and you just need one sheet for now and you separate it into the separate plies, which is a bit easier said than done with um, kitchen roll. And then place that over the top of the glue mixture. And then what you need to do is take some more PVA glue and go over the top. Just make sure you press the paper towel down to make sure it's stuck all the way around. Um, make sure it's stuck in position well. Any bits that aren't glued down are going to like buckle and bubble um, later on when you add paint. And all I'm doing is just sticking it down a bit at a time and then wrapping the paper towel around. Like so. And as you can see, a lot of the um, pattern of the kitchen roll disappears. So it doesn't matter if it is particularly patterned. And then make sure you add another layer of PVA glue over the top because you want to be able to stick the next layer on and it also seals that first layer nicely. Makes it easier to paint later on because um, it stops anything peeling off and obviously um, stops the paper towel just sucking and absorbing every last little drop of moisture. Just makes it an easier surface to paint on basically. And you're gonna wanna do that three or four times i did four in the end because you want a decent thickness of layer so that it's um quite sturdy and not too fragile and all you have to do is when you get to the back is just apply some glue and overlap the um edges at the back and just glue them down really really well And then what you need to do is when you've applied the other three layers of tissue paper and glue is leave it to dry. Um, you could leave it to dry for an hour or so in a warm room. You could leave it to dry overnight depending on what time, how much time you've got. Or you can use a hairdryer or a heat gun to speed up the process. Just make sure the heat gun's not too hot. I've got one that's specifically for crafting so it's a lower voltage one. It's a lower heat. And then once your glue gun's dry, um, once your glue gun, once your jar's dry, then what you need to do is add your embellishments. I'd got a small patch here that was still damp, so all I'm doing is just going over it with my heat gun, just to dry off that last little patch um, that I'd missed in the drying process. Because if you try and stick everything to wet tissue, it's not going to work. And then. I've got these resin schools that I've made. Um, I've made a bunch of them. I've got some I've turned into key rings. This is one that I turned into a key ring, but it's one that's quite cloudy and bubbly. So I figured I'd use it for this. So use hot glue to glue on your embellishments. Um, you can stick on whatever you like. It's up to you. And what you do is stick them down firmly with the glue and make sure the glue has um, fully cooled and is nice and secure before painting. Um, in a second I'll show you what my jar looked like once I've finished adding all the embellishments. Because obviously this is just the first couple. So once I've finished it looked like this and then all you need to do is paint the whole jar black with black acrylic paint. Then 
take the some metallic luster you or you could use silver paint um, and apply that over the top of all the embellishments and the textured part of the jar um, for mine I use this metallic luster stuff because it works really well and I haven't actually got any silver acrylic paint at the moment but if you get if you have some um, acrylic silver a paint just use a brush and dry brush it over the top of the whole jar it's actually faster um, and it works just as well um, just make sure it's a decent quality um, silver paint and it's not like really watery and thin you want one that's got like a decent uh, viscosity to it and then just dry brush that all over the jar and as you can see when you start applying the silver over the top um, it starts to really make those details pop and it really makes all the um, just everything look a lot better and stand out a lot more. I also like it on the jar because it makes that texture of the jar stand out, um, which just adds to the overall look. Um, so what you do is you go over the whole jar with the um, silver. It could be silver paint or the, the metallic luster. And cover the whole thing make sure you get every little nook and cranny um, you don't have to apply loads which is good it's literally just a very thin dry brush or just a small amount with the finger to like this if you get a problem like i did where that one thing come off just take it off touch it up with some black paint and leave it to dry and then go over it again with the silver and you won't even know that that was there and all I did was carry on going all the way around the jar. Um, you'll notice I haven't done the beads yet, but I do go around the beads and do those later on. And once you've covered the entire thing in the silver, it will look like this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.